So I'm not really sure what to say because this is the last time I'll ever step foot inside my little uh, 7 foot by 14 foot knife shop. Basically this last week has been nothing but failure. You don't want to be lollygagging around and having a phone conversation with a friend you haven't seen in 10 years with a hot, ready to quench piece of steel in your hand. Hello? Actually, to tell you the truth, I hated it in here because, I mean, it's 7 feet by 14 feet and it was just packed full of stuff, but it was all I had, so that's what I used. I don't know, I'm not real sure how to feel about it. Um, you know, I've been here for this particular location for 13 years, which is crazy. Um, I can't believe I'm that old already. But anyway, I guess we'll uh, hopefully be off to bigger, better things. Maybe not bigger things, but definitely better things. <sighs> I'm living out of my truck. Not really, just sometimes it's, it seems like I'm living in my truck. So we've actually been working on a lot of other projects. I'm not sure if I really can show you what they are yet. This is how homeless I am. I have my bike shorts drying over a heater. Oh, that's embarrassing. Never dry anything over a space heater. This is gonna get me demonetized. So even though this uh, shop here is bigger than my shed shop, so even though this shop here is bigger than my old shed workshop there we go it doesn't sound as stupid i actually don't have that much more workbench area mainly because i only have access to this one wall this other wall on this side is just a divider between the main reason that i haven't been posting videos is because i sold my house and currently i don't have a place to live so going back about six months ago um, when the whole pandemic thing started hmm I'm not sure I'm allowed to say that without getting demonetized but when the whole current situation started essentially what happened was is my channel got demonetized no! um, not only did it get demonetized on YouTube but it got demonetized on uh, Amazon and you know th that's not the end of the world but what it did actually remind me of is the fact that this whole thing right here this YouTube thing and um, all that surrounds it is a very fragile thing. One minute everything can be going perfectly fine. You wake up the next morning and you don't have a job and you still have to go to work. It's literally like that. It's like your boss sending you an email saying, hey, by the way, you're fired, but you still have to show up for work tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm actually gonna need that money back that I already paid you from three months ago. You know, that's kind of how it went. And you have absolutely no recourse when an email like that is sent. Basically, you have the equivalent of putting a message in a bottle and throwing it into the ocean and hopefully someone sees it. So that's exactly what I did. The good news is, is that I'm re-monetized on both platforms and everything is sort of okay now. But what that really did was it kind of reminded me of, again, just how fragile this whole thing is. And I really wanted to focus on things that were more real, things that I could control. Um, and one of those things was I needed to sell my house. Um, the market was good and I've been sitting on it for a long time waiting to sell it. And so that's what I did. The bad news is, is that 
I don't have a house now. And this whole process now has taken about, I mean, I don't even know at this point, what is it, six months since I posted my last video. The other thing is, is that I kind of wanted to get offline for a while. Um, there's just so much negativity out there surrounding everything that I kind of need to take a step back and focus on other things. Um, and luckily, everything has worked out so far. So uh, going forward, I think content on the channel might change slightly, specifically because I don't have a place to edit video. So obviously that's not a super permanent solution to continue uh, making the, uh, the kind of videos that I like to make. So yeah, we're that's kind of where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen my uh, Spyderco Delica 4. Actually a viewer sent this to me and I really, really like this knife. It's like the perfect size, perfect blade shape for me. This one came with VG10. Super, super awesome knife. I really, really like it, and uh, um, I'm very thankful for the viewer who sent this. So this knife actually has the factory grind still on it. It's a little thick behind the edge, so I think what I might end up doing eventually is thinning it out a little bit. They just work so much better when they're thinner. But, you know, that's down the road a little bit. I, I have a little bit more life in it before I get to that point. So just go ahead and sharpen it real quick. So that is, uh, that is much better. So just a couple passes on a 400 grit diamond stone will bring that right back. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this on a three micron strut. Yeah, that's sharp. Just about cut my finger off. But actually, we'd uh, be willing to bet that that's close to hair whittling sharp. A couple passes on a three micron off of a 400 grit stone. It's good enough for me. So I've made the decision to disassemble my studio camera setup thingy. This thing's nice, I guess, if you set up your camera and leave it in one spot throughout the day, but to tell you the truth, um, I don't think my videos are as good as they used to be. Just because I've been, you know, every time you move the camera, you gotta deal with this whole thing. Um, so I think I'm gonna take all this off and just go back to using uh, just the body and, uh, you know, not worry about things that I shouldn't be worrying about. That's a little bit more compact, easier to move around. I don't have the uh, flip out screen on this camera, but I made, uh, made do with it before. So maybe this will make making videos a little bit less cumbersome. Hello? Brother. Yeah. Alex. Cool. What? You screwed it up when you were like, Alex. So speaking of orders, the website is fully stocked or everything is in stock and currently shipping on time. At least if the U.S. Postal Service does their job and delivers in a timely manner. I am super thankful for everybody who has placed an order. It's been super helpful in getting some of these other projects started, uh, which hopefully I can share with you in uh, more detail in the near future. Just to be clear, I'm not actually trying to sharpen. I'm just grinding away steel.